Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is my channel Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back. Hopefully you all saw part one of these videos that covered hooks, knots, and knot tying tools. Today we're going to cover a couple more Snell knot tying tools and one of them is even a hack tool. You're going to want to see that one. So stick around. In a previous video, when I showed you how to use this tool to tie a snell knot, I showed you how the handle unscrewed and it has these needle parts to clean out the eyelet of a hook. Well, you can also use this to tie a line onto a hook at, without using a snell knot. So let me show you how this works. I got a hook here. It's not real small, but it's about the smallest hook I got. So you start by putting the line through the eyelet of the hook. And you pull it back like this. So you got the hook on those there and it's doubled back. Now you take this line and you can do this and make a loop in it. And hold it with your fingers. So now you got a double loop of line and a single loop with the hook on it. Then you stick the hook through that double loop of line. So it's like that. Then you take this tool and you take the short needle and you run it through the single loop and then you run the long needle through the double loop and then you start to pull this thing tight like that then once you get it somewhat tight you got to slip that single loop off the shorter needle but keep the other loop on the long needle and then you can pull it down a little bit tighter so you don't want to pull too hard because you'll probably bend the needle then you can take it off that needle and you can hook it through that hole in the tool the other part of the tool and then you can pull your line tight you can pull, and that will tie a knot on that hook. It'll attach that hook to the fishing line, but not, it won't be a snell knot. So, and that's how that guy works for doing that. Here's another tool I bought online, pretty inexpensive. This tool also has the pointy part to clean out the eyelets of the hooks. Got a pair of clippers. That aren't real sharp. Mine won't cut braid line. It's got a hook sharpener on it, which I never use. And here's the part you use to tie the knots. It'll tie snell knots or nail knots. So let's see how this thing works. This tool works a lot like the first tool that I did. I said it'll do snell knots or nail knots. It's got this little plate on it. So you get yourself some line, get a couple inches of line out here, lay it across that plate, put your thumb on it. Then you come down through the end and then you start to wrap this thing around the tool six to eight times from the narrow end to the wide end don't let your wraps overlap. Then when you get it wrapped around there, you put your finger on there to hold them wraps. And at that point, just like the other one, stick your hook in there under those wraps. Take the side, the end that you wrapped around and run it back through the tool under those wraps along the shank of the hook and then once again with a real hold down that plate with your thumb and with a real quick jerking motion just snap it right off of the tool 
and it puts the knot right there on the shank at a circle hook. You can start to tighten it up a little bit. Slide it up towards the eyelet. This one has this loop on the end that you can actually hook your hook on. That way you can really tighten your snell knot up. Get it good and tight. When you're done tightening it, trip, trim off your tag end, and there you go. It's getting got a snelled knot. Works a lot like the first one. Okay, what kind of a video would this be for snell knot tying tools if we didn't have some sort of a hack tool in it? We like the hacks. They're the best parts of the videos. So here's a hack tool I made. It doesn't really work real well because the binder clip isn't quite strong enough to hold the hook good. It works, but not real well. It doesn't work well on small hooks at all. But I drilled a hole in the binder clip, took a short little piece of all thread, put it down in there and locked it down with a couple nuts. One in the inside too. Then I drilled a hole in a piece of dowel rod and epoxied that all thread in there, put a little piece of shrink tube over it. And then I drilled another small hole and epoxied a little eyelet in this end. So let's show you how this uh, hack snell tool is supposed to work. You start by putting your circle hook in this end, clamp it in there like that. Then you take some fishing line and once again you run it through the eyelet from the side where the hook point is. Then you kind of wrap it around that little handle part there. Have a couple inches of tag line here. Get it around that shaft of that hook once, and then you just start to spin this little tool here. And it'll wrap the line right around that shank. And once again, you wrap it around there six or seven times. Try not to overlap your line. So that should be good enough. Once you get it wrapped around there about six or seven times, put your finger on them wraps so that they don't come out. And you want to stop with the side facing up where you've got your loop over the handle. And you can kind of flip that handle up like that. Then you take your tag end and you run it through that loop that you wrapped around the handle of the clamp. Then you can pull on your main line and start to tighten your your snell knot down a little bit. Then you can pull your hook out of that clamp, slide it over that handle, continue pulling your knot tight, slide it up the shank, Pull it tight. You can use this ring that's mounted on the other end of the handle to hook the hook on. Cinch it up good. And there you got yourself a snell knot. Like I say, it doesn't work real good on small hooks. So, but it was a hack. Trim your tag end off. And there's a snelled circle hook. Of all the snell knot tools that I have, this is probably the one I like the best. It works, it takes a little bit of practice. It's easy, it's simple, it's small. So this is probably my favorite out of all those tools. Okay, I just wanna say real quick, all of these knot tying tools that I demonstrated, they're not the easiest things in the world to use. I guess they're a little bit better than just trying to do it without it because Tiny hooks are harder to hold in my fingers. At least the tool holds the hook. But they take some practice. Uh, a lot of times when I was trying to film and tie a knot, I didn't get a good knot. So they're not as easy as what a lot of people online make them look. They take practice, but they do work. And that does it for part two of hooks, knots, and snell knot tools. Next video will be released shortly. It's going to be part three. 
It's going to deal with some more snell knot tying tools. Some of these tools are, well both of them really are pretty extravagant, but I'll show you the tools and I'll show you how they work. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys know to drill. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up like, share this video, subscribe so you get notified when my next video comes out, and I'll see you on the next video.